Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is the third video I'm filming today. I am extremely hot and extremely sweaty. It is so hot here in Australia right now. Um, but I need to get this filmed because this is the only time I have this weekend. So let's get it done. This is my final one. I'm hot, I'm sticky, and I'm slightly annoyed, which is a perfect vibe for this video. Uh, this is my most disappointing books of 2021. This is not the same as the worst books of 2021. I will leave a video linked to that down below that's already out. These are books that I had high hopes for, usually because of the author, and one of them on here is because of like the content, and I thought I would love it, and then I did not. So let's get started. There are five. Let's start out with number five. So first up is Mouthful of Birds by Samantha Schweblin. I would tell you what this is about, except I completely fucking forgot. It is completely unmemorable. Um, I was extremely let down though, because Samantha Schweblin wrote Little Eyes, which I think I gave three or three and a half stars. Um, and she wrote Fever Dream, which is one of my favorite books of the year. Uh, so what the hell was this short story collection? It was extremely weak. That's all I'm going to say about it. Moving right along. Um, number three and four spot goes to the same author, but two different books. And I'm extremely mad about this. I'm uh, very upset. And I wonder if it's just me. Like, if you also don't vibe with these books, please let me know. Because I feel like I'm missing out. But I don't like them. So this is Nettie Okorafor. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. Because Book of Phoenix was absolutely amazing. I would still highly recommend that book. But it's a previous book. These two, uh, Remote Control and Nor are both her recent releases, and I really did not like them. So let's start with Noor, which is the more recent one that I read. So Noor, I gave two and a half stars, sadly. It is following someone who calls himself AO, artificial organism, because uh, when she was young, she was sick and had like limb differences. So she got cybernetic like limbs in order to be able to have like, um, like legs and pieces of her arm and different other body uh, parts. And I was like, yes, awesome. This sounds exactly like it. And for the premise, something happens, she gets into a fight and she flees into this desert where there's something like a huge tornado, a huge uh, wind tornado that um, there's a city like in the middle of for people who don't fit in. So the whole idea is that she's going to go there, except this book was so long and nothing, nothing happened. Truly almost nothing happened. That was my main critique uh, because I just... The beautiful writing can only get you so far when absolutely fucking nothing happens the whole book through. Like, what is going on? Like, <laughs> no. I was like, what happened? Like, Book of Phoenix was so fast paced. And then this one is absolutely like, she turned the action all the way back to zero. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. And then earlier in the year, I read Remote Control, which is about a young woman who's known as Remote Control because uh, basically whenever electronics come near her or she touches them, she causes them to die. Uh, so that's why she's called Remote Control. And she just goes from village to village, um, sometimes killing people who are near death. Um, and the first half of this book was all right. And then the second half just got so boring, so meandering and had almost like no point. Um, and I can't really just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, it just not work for me. And I gave, I gave this one three stars. So it was high, slightly higher than Nor, which I gave two and a half. But for Nettie Akorafor, Nettie freaking Akorafor, who like, I know you can write. Like Book of Phoenix was like really, really good. This was not it at all. And I really didn't, I really didn't like them. So I think I might be done with Nettie Akorafor for quite a while. Um, let me know if you agree, if you've read either of those, because I feel like I'm going a little bit crazy because no one else seems to be saying saying anything about the books. No one's talking about them. Maybe that's for a good reason. Um, okay, number two, we're gonna move on to Redder Days, which is by Sue Rainsford. And again, this is on my most disappointing because Sue Rainsford wrote Follow Me to Ground, which was one of my favorite weird books last year. Like it was so good, so freaky, weird, and I really liked it. And the writing was like super mellow weird. You know how like they get you into that dream state and then they just like throw in really weird shit and you're like, ah, but in a good way. Um, yeah, except this book was absolutely horrible. It was really bad. And I think I gave it two and a half or two stars. So basically there is a cult where there's this red plague or infection that you can see on people's skin. Uh, and we are following a brother and a sister, I think. 
uh, who, um, yeah, like weird, weird shit is happening between them. So I'm just reading from my, um, my review here. There were too many points of view. There were over five points of view. Uh, 80% of it was talk. Only 20% was action. Um, there was incest between the brother-sister twins. Oh, they are twins. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, confusion and um, flatlining of almost all character arcs. So yeah, um, yeah, no, I really hated it. And I, it would have been forgettable except for the fact that I like hated it so much. You know what I mean? Like I was like, why? Because Follow Me to Ground was so good that it makes me have such high expectations and I requested it, I reviewed it, and I was like, why? Why Sue writes for... So yeah. And the last book, the number one, uh, Mr. Miss, bleh, bleh, most disappointing of 2021, um, is actually uh, The Mermaid of Black Conch by Monique Rothi. So I was super excited about this book um, and I was sure that I was gonna love it. So I bought it brand new, a beautiful absolutely cover an absolutely beautiful cover um and the beginning was strong and then it went downhill so fast there's a fisherman and he discovers a mermaid who is floating in the waters and she is not like other mer she's not like other mermaids but truly she isn't um so she is a very ancient mermaid and she's not like a beautiful sleek slim whatever mermaid she is like a truly like ocean creature where her tail is like a flatfish tail and her her hair is like long and it has like um like things living in it like algae barnacles like little shrimp and stuff and he befriends her uh, but his befriending her accidentally leads to her capture. So when she is captured by a team of fishermen, they're going to like sell her to the highest bidder, possibly kill her. He rescues her and then it becomes super problematic. Uh, so um, this features a 1000 year old Caribbean mermaid, an everlasting curse and an exploration of post-colonialism issues. Um, but it did not make up for the fact that it had born sexy yesterday trope, which is, I absolutely hate. It's when like um, an adult who is innocent or virginal can't be independent without a man. So absolutely, this was like a hundred percent, the same as the Little Mermaid where she's all like, oh, I can't walk, I can't speak, I can't do anything. And he like picks her up and is like, oh, I'll save you. Um, well, yeah, not a fan if you can't tell. Um, and then also, um, icky comments about what makes a woman a woman and insta-love. So the fisherman has a lot of ideas about what a woman should be and I'm just like, mm, I'm not here for that. I don't care. I don't care what you want a woman to be. Um, and it's, um, yeah, I just started out great and then it went very poorly. So this is in my number one spot because it's very rare that I don't like a mermaid book. However, a book I tried to read this month for a merry January um, yeah, it was also a mermaid book that I DNF'd, so maybe I'm not lucky with mermaid books right now. If you have any great mermaid books, please let me know down below because I'm struggling to find really good ones, adult if possible. Um, I think I'm a little bit old for YA, they're just not gelling with me right. Um, yeah, so these are all my most disappointing books of 2021. Please rant and let me know what were your mis most disappointing ones down below so I know not to read them, not to waste my precious time when I have a baby reading disappointing books. So please let me know. Thank you for watching. And I'm so glad I'm gonna go sit in the AC now, finish my Moscato. <sighs> yeah, thank you for watching. I love you all and I will see you later. Bye.